Hey guys, Ghostor38 here. Wanted to bring you this another video of this today. Today I'm going to be looking at the G.I. Joe Adventure Team Recondo figure and his pet alligator. Um, I picked this up off of eBay for a modest sum of $35. Um, everything you see here, I have his bag of accessories here off camera. He has the alligator, the crate, and the figure. Um, side note is the Recondo on the Adventure Team is actually not the American Recondo that was on the G.I. Joe Team. I'll make a note in the video description on that more later. He's, uh, um, this subline consisted of three figures, a Storm Shadow pack, a Snake Eyes pack, and Recondo. And I like Recondo the best. He was actually the more difficult one to find. Storm Shadow, you could find him a little bit around loose or sometimes a packaging on eBay and Snake Eyes is the easier one, but Recondo he was the more difficult to find. Um, can't complain, I'm glad I have this one. If any one of the three, I'm happy it would be him. Um, I like the design of their crates, their weapons cr cases here. These with the Adventure Team ones, they don't have the um, foam inserts anymore because at that point this is one of the last sublines that was created for G.I. Joe. And the reason they called it, uh, and for a uh, side note also, um, the Adventure Team was originally a line of G.I. Joes from the 70s, when they were still the 12-inch figures. Um, so it's kind of cool to see them brought back. And I'm going to talk about the Recondo figure first. Um, the Adventure Team, they also have the Kung Fu Grip as well. Get the crocodile off to the side. There's the crate. Want to show him off first. Um, he has his hat here. Um, when I got this figure, his right arm was stiff and in a locked position. I couldn't move it here. Um, and it was a pain in the butt to get it back where it's at. So for articulation purposes... Um, he normally goes out that far, but this arm is stuck. The only real thing I can do is bend at the elbow. But I really like this guy's design. He kind of gives me, like, Crocodile Dundee... Um... I don't know. He kind of he reminds me of the Crocodile Hunter, if anyone, if anyone remembers that show. And a mix of Crocodile Dundee, but anyway, he looks really cool. Um, he's not the American one. This guy came from Australia. Um, well, at least his Joe name, anyway. Um, articulation, he does a swivel at the waist. Torso goes up that high, goes down that way. Um, head moves up that, and head moves down that much. Does a full, can do a full 360, but the collar prevents it from moving that far. The only real pegs that show that he's from the Sigma 6 on are the 4 on his back. Um, again, if I had both arms to be able to move properly, both legs go out would go out that far. Leg goes up that far. Back that far. And single joint here at the knee. And... A bend at the toe here and oh it also turns anyway that's that one there for him his hat goes back on like so detail is he does have a watch on his arm here according to the time it's would that would be um looks like 1245 maybe so, yeah, whoops, there's one of his hat. I really like the look of this figure, I like his design, and I'm happy to have him in my collection. Have him hold on to his hat. Nope, or not. Um, a little bit about the figure. I'm going to move on from, here's the, to the figure, his hat. I'm going to talk about the crocodile. Oh, also, he has um, pegs at the bottom of his feet. I don't know if this was meant for some sort of display piece 
or it was a base that they were supposed to be put on, but they never went anywhere with it. So, yeah, only knows what those could have been for. But anyway, moving on from there to the next one, we'll talk, look at his crocodile or alligator. Um, the gimmick here with this one, the head moves, head goes open, and if you touch the tongue, he bites. <laughs> Um, there is, he comes with a collar, that was with the accessories, it is a pain in the butt to put on and take off, so I'm not really going to mess with it, so we're going to see him leashed. He stands pretty decently, he can work with his feet a little bit if you want to get him to stand right, he doesn't have much in the way of articulation at all, um, the only thing that moves is his feet, and the tail. Tail moves, it has two joints, here the base piece, and here at the tip. The tip of the tail doesn't move at all. It's screwed together, that back there. Um, but yeah, it just has two joints of articulation on the tail and the feet. Kinda cool. Um, Keep that open up real quick. That's going to go into the next accessory piece. If you can open. Opening up his accessories really quick. Comes with a little booklet. Which is really cool. It um, gives some descriptions about the figure... Some of the accessories that were probably for sale at the time, but I never really found any of these. Night Ranger Quad, that was the one that came with Duke and Snake Eyes. There's a crossbow there. Jungle Harness. A Q&A from the creators of the figure line. Some of the figure line. Some of the... So there's supposed to be some other figures here because there's um, um, Wakando. Some of these others are um, other from other figure lines as well. There was a snake with um, snake eyes, a tiger with um, storm shadow. But there's some of these others here that were never released. Only it would have been interesting to imagine what those would have been. Colton, G.I. Joe Colton. And Jim B. Joe Colton. Some other accessory pieces. Some of these come from uh, the combat squad. There's the aquatic combat vehicle. The switchfire pistols. The fins you see on wetsuit and uh, torpedo and the others. Um, the um, torpedo gun that you find with wetsuit. Arbco. That's Tom, there's Tomax and Zamont. Created their crates. Arbco's Cobra. Work it around. Um, and some other stuff. From the other pieces. Cool little book. Um, here's the instruction manual here. Rakondo with the car crocodile. Here's a little visual checklist here of what's included. Terror of the Swamp. He comes with his own machete. Nice little detail. The crocodile trap, as I showed you briefly in the um, goes sort of like that. Just goes sort of like that. Um, he came with two extra pieces that didn't come with anything. This one here is the same machete as this one, except this one here came with shipwreck. So, yeah. And then there's a piece here that came that was actually supposed to be with heavy duty, so he gave me some extra pieces. There's this one. 
There's his gun. Supposed to be either an AK-47 or something. I don't know. Nice little charm here on the end piece of it here. Like the wraps. This is painted in a solid plastic. Clip does not remove. He has the peg here for his back. He has a canteen here. Um, no real means of storing it outside of putting it in his hand. And he comes with a knife here. Um, peg on here for his back as well. Just show that. Knife goes here. And the gun can go here. So yeah, storage opportunity. Overall, I really like this figure. I'm happy to have him in my collection. And, yeah. Eh, make it easier to... I hope you guys like this little look at Rakondo here. I hope you guys like this little look at Rakondo here. Um, comment below your favorite G.I. Joe. Did you guys ever get any of these um, Adventure Team figures? If so, which one did you like the most? And until then... Um, do all those normal YouTube things, uh, click that like if you enjoyed it, comment below your favorite G.I. Joe. If you ever got any of the Adventure Team figures, um, let me know which one was your favorite. And subscribe for more content just like this. And until then, um, oh yeah, and when you subscribe, be sure to click that bell notification and turn your settings on to all. Until then, I will see you guys next time with another video. Take care. Peace. Whoops, sorry. And yo, Joe.